Pork loin time. What's going on guys? Matthew here. We are about to make a light refreshing type of pork loin. Yes, I got this one at Kroger's. You can get great deals too. This was about, I think it was $1.76 or less per pound. So yes, this one right here is about uh, 4.27 pounds, 7.64. I can't eat all this in a day. No, sir. What we're going to do is we're going to take about four pork chops off this pork loin. That right there is going to be close to right at about 200 grams of protein. That is insane. And I will show you that I did chop one up. This one was chopped up the other day. Actually, this is two of them. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of get into my food, right? But, yeah, this is it. Yeah, baby, right there. Oh, yeah. What you do is you slice this puppy. I got three of these. Now, I've got a big pan full of these. I haven't even touched these yet. Whew. When it comes to pork loin, there are so many different ways to be able to prepare them. Usually what I do is I do a real spicy today. Today we're going to be doing something quite a bit different. It's going to be a, like a light flavor. Matter of fact, it's going to be lemon. It's going to be garlic. Going to be a few other seasonings in there that might surprise you. And they might not. Being on the carnivore diet, it is true you do eat a lot of meat. But there are so many different ways to prepare the meat. There are so many different flavors that completely change the dish. It, it's absolutely... To me, it, it just allows the variation and it allows you to be able to enjoy it. As I'm cooking, whoo, I get excited. I always get excited. It's because I'm making it with my hands and it is delicious. And you don't have to go to a restaurant. No, let me put this pork loin back up. Uh, as I drop things out of the fridge. Anyway, so. One of the first things I'm most excited about, hey, I'm back. One of the uh, things I'm most excited about, come on over here if you would. And by the way, I'm in Tennessee. Welcome to my little Tennessee home. Great to have you here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be starting off with our garlic. Guys, do not take the shortcut. Do not use, I mean, if you wanna use garlic powder, that's fine. But if you have fresh garlic, whoo, go ahead and jump in on that, okay? It doesn't take that long to cut it up. And it actually, it, whoo, oh man, I can hear that sizzling. Can y'all hear that? Yes, sir. Mm, I need to throw all of it in. All right, it's all in there. I want you to be able to see this. Oh yeah. So our butter got a little bit brown. And yes. All right, so I did use a lemon a little bit earlier. The lemon is gonna give it a really nice, light, tangy flavor. It's gonna bring the pork loin to life. And that garlic. It's just gonna be bouncing. What we're gonna do is we're hoping that this garlic is gonna get a little bit burnt, and it will, just like the butter did. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in more butter. If you weren't here the last couple of times that I've been cooking, when I got this new butter dish, I love my Macy's butter dish. <laughs> I use so much butter. Now that I'm not using seed oils, and I'm not using, I know not to use margarine, because margarine is so, well, plasticky, right? It's not good for us. The butter, the body can break it down. Ooh -wee. Oh man. Man, the smell of that garlic. It's just, just so awesome. All right, so while the garlic's cooking, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put some pork chops in there. All right, so this is our first one. Yes, we're gonna go ahead and turn it up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put the timer on four minutes now. These pork loin don't take hardly any time. Go ahead and pre-cook these, freeze them, put them out for the night before. And if you put them out on the counter, they're gonna be ready to cook up in the morning. Especially if you're gonna be doing prepping. If you're dedicated, here's the next one. If you're dedicated to your your carnivore diet. If you're on a carnivore diet, think about going carnivore diet. I tell you what, if you are carnivore, think about going carnivore or you know something that would benefit from lowering the blood pressure, Okay. Reversing their type 2 diabetes, being able to sleep a full night at night, um, getting rid of their arthritis, their aches and their pains. Oh my gosh, guys. Whoo, blessings on blessings on this diet. And it's it tastes so good. How does it do with that, you ask me? I'm going to tell you. This is the most nutrient-dense food in the world, guys. It's going to heal you. You need this stuff. Now, a few of you have been here for quite some time. Some of you have not. 
I had some memory fog going on. Memory fog is the first stages towards dementia. This is serious. If you have that in your family, what you're going to want to think about is really increasing that protein. I would highly encourage consider trying out the carnivore diet. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice, of course. But from my own personal experience, complete life change. Complete. My, my blood pressure currently is, the last time I took it was 93 over 61. Okay? Took that last night. You can't get that anywhere besides for diet. Working out is gonna help. I try to work out myself about two to three times a day. Working out's not gonna do it, okay? Going on a strict diet, most inflammation, most diseases that you find are caused by diet. Okay, so what are we gonna be doing for the season? We got fork, pork loins in there. We can call them boneless pork chops if we want to. Technically, they're not, but, man, that garlic's smelling good, boy. All right. I'm gonna be leaving the lemon juice for just a little bit. We are gonna pepper them. Okay. Very, very good. All right, so I pepper them so I get a nice a nice feel to it. You can pepper it as much as you'd like to. Also, with this recipe, I'm going to put a slight layer of paprika on these. It's, it's for coloring, but paprika has its own certain flavor, which is just absolutely if you haven't enjoyed paprika, if you haven't taken advantage of it, definitely do, okay? Also, my pink Himalayan salt, the salt shaker's out, so I'm gonna be using just main salt. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna be using the Celtic salt though. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna be using here is thyme. This thyme has its own flavor, it's light, it's refreshing. Love the thyme. if I can get the time to come out. Ah! Okay, the thumb is coming out. Very beautiful. Ooh, I can smell it too. I actually need a little more thumb than it's coming out, so we're gonna go ahead and tilt it. Oh, not that much. All right. I want you to take a look and just kind of see what I'm looking at here. This thumb isn't gonna be the dominant, but this thumb is, is really accents beautifully. All right, now we're gonna do some oregano leaves. Everybody's familiar with oregano, I know. Everybody's probably familiar with thon. If you're not familiar with, because a lot of people out there might be watching this, you haven't done a lot of cooking. So I want you to think about and be very open to all of the different seasonings that you can get into because it's gonna completely change your dish. In other words, I see a lot of people out there that are on the carnivore diet that seem like plain hamburger. No, folks, you don't have to be that person. Not at all. All right, so our four minutes is up. What I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and flip this. We're also going to start our timer again. Let me do another four minutes. When it comes to pork wine, you don't have to cook it forever. Not at all. What we're also going to be doing is we're going to be putting our lemon in here. Ooh -wee. I'm gonna bring you over here. Y'all need to see this. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, there you go. There you go. I want you to see exactly what I'm seeing here. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. Oh my. So we got our butter. Oh, and we got them. Oh my goodness, we got them charred on the side. Oh my word. What we're we gonna do? We're gonna start putting that lemon juice in there, guys. Yes. The whole dish is getting confused right now. It is loving that lemon juice now. Loving it. All right. We're gonna go ahead and put a little more paprika, like we did before. What we're doing is we're just getting the other side, guys. <clears throat> Now, you really can't put too much paprika. Paprika is going to have its own flavor, but it doesn't overdo the dish, which is awesome. Okay, we're doing the thyme again. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the thyme before. The thyme is, is a major ingredient just because it adds its own accent, which is absolutely phenomenal. Just, just a beautiful... Beautiful seasoning. Got our oregano going on now. And one thing we haven't added yet, I'm gonna be adding some salt. Yes. 
So what, what, what the salt's doing is it's going to be bringing out, uh, bringing out everything. It's going to make it bang. Okay, so the flavor that's going to be in here is so beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. And we're probably going to, you know, this right here with the garlic, um, you know, and the lemon juice, just just makes it bounce. It, it, it makes it feel summer refreshing. When you think about pork loin, you might not think of the word refreshing when you think about pork loin at first. You might not think that. I would not think that. <laughs> I would be thinking spicy, right? Because if you've seen some other videos that I've been doing, I do the cayenne, which, you know, it's very, I love the cayenne for sure. Uh, oh yeah, the cayenne, I love spicy, but sometimes I'm not in a spicy mood. Sometimes I want something different. And when you want something different, who can you make different now? Yes, okay. Oh, oh my gosh, that smells good. <clears throat> If you're not used to cooking this way, you might have only ever, you know, I mean, you might have only smelled something like this when you're in an expensive restaurant. You're not going to get this at your, at your average restaurants. You can cook, and I want you to think about this, you can cook and eat better at home every day of the week. This right here, these four pork loins cost you about $1.76. With the grams of protein, they're gonna be, the grams of protein here are probably about 100 grams of protein right here. Yeah, now now that I look at it, it's pretty much gonna be, you can kinda eye it after a while, but yeah, 100 grams of protein, guys. Hoo wee yes. Talking about getting that blood pressure low, getting that deep sleep at night, being able to sleep all night long. Mm -hmm. No pains, guys. If you got pains, you got arthritis, you got pain in your back, you got pain in your neck, that's gonna be gone. I want you to know that. Talking about living. I mean, what? Yes. I'm looking so forward to trying one of these. Oh my goodness. Now, did I overcook the pork loin? The answer is no. <laughs> I cooked it longer than what most people would prescribe. The reason why I do that is because if you cook it longer, it doesn't hurt it. It doesn't change it. This is going to be beautiful. All right, so... <clears throat> When you're cooking something in steak, you have no words. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take one of these bad boys out of here. Ooh, I'm going to be turning this off. Let me moving this pork in. And really, I don't have to move it, worry about moving it off. I, I just don't because it's not going to overcook, which is amazing. That's the way I like to cook. I, I, I like to cook where I don't have to worry about things like messing up just because you cook it too long. Oh my goodness. So, as I'm about to take a bite of this, a couple of thoughts are, do I want a piece of that garlic on here? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, I really, I really think I would love a piece of garlic on there. Oh, there's a little piece of garlic right there. Okay. So, actually, you know what? Oh my gosh. And I want you to think about dipping sauces. Like, if you um, if you scoop that up, you can melt a little more butter if you wanted to. Have the little dishes on the sides, like this one, that we, that we had the lemon juice in. If you're having a couple of guests, just think about that. You got the pork loin there, right? And you've got the dipping sauce. Now, I'm not saying they're gonna be carnivore, maybe they're not. But if you're eating, doing the carnivore and you're eating this, you could eat three, four, five of them. <laughs> That'd be like me, okay? I'd be in like three or four. Obviously, I'm just rambling right here. But my point is, though, is that even if they're not carnivore and you make them carrots or whatever the case is, you know, low inflammation foods, they're going to absolutely, I think they're going to absolutely love it, hopefully. I guess it depends on who's there. Let's try this out. Oh. Mmm. Oh, no. Oh, it's so much more than butter. It's all the refreshing lemon on that. The oregano, the thyme, everything's just bumping. I, the paprika's in there somewhere, but it's like hidden between all the other flavors. You do have the pepper, but you don't want the pepper to be over. Ooh, I gotta take another bite, guys. You don't want the pepper to override it all. Mmm, oh my goodness. Ooh, you know, earlier this week I made 
I made some chicken. I don't even know what to call this. <laughs> yes, this is my original right here, boys. Yes, yes. And ladies, um, whew, I'm gonna dunk it. I got to. I, I got to. I, I'm a bad kid. I want y'all to take a look at that. Take a look at that pork loin. Look at that. The, I, this is not, this is like a, fresh, a refreshing pork loin. This is a fresh, freshly refreshing and light pork loin. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh my gosh. The first thing was the garlic. Second thing, it just tasted refreshing. And the lemon. And the lemon's like all over the left and right side of my mouth. The salt's making it pop a little bit. Oh my word. Oh my gosh. I gotta take another bite. Gotcha. Gotta, gotta. Whoo! Man! Oh, man. What would make this taste better? I don't think there's anything that would make this taste better. Definitely not gonna be the cayenne on this kind of dish. No. I say that because I'm big in the hot. Look at this. Look at that right there. That is insane. Insane. That might be the photo for this video. That one right there. That is bad, boy. Mmm. Oh. Oh, my word. Oh, the magic of lemon and garlic, boy. All of it, all of it's just a dance. I'm gonna tell you what though, that thyme and the, and the oregano, oil, boy, you do not wanna leave those out. I, I feel strongly about paprika. Paprika is a de-inflammation or anti-inflammation. So is the garlic. So is the lemon. Even though you're eating the lowest inflammational diet food in the world, doesn't mean you don't have to, you know, you can use spices that are going to be low inflammation too. What does that do? It makes you sleep deep at night. <laughs> sleep deep. Get that blood pressure down even further. You don't want it much down. <laughs> 60 is good, folks. Man. Whoo, thank y'all for showing up. Oh my goodness. I'm going to, hold on. I'm gonna <clears throat> grab my coffee with my heavy whipping cream. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, and I want to share y'all a surprise about something. A little twist. So, one of the biggest tips I got for you, one of the biggest mistakes I've made, okay, and this is, I'll put that part of the title, okay, but one of the biggest mistakes I made is not getting enough electrolytes, okay? What happens is that when you start to work out and you get a ton more energy, sometimes you're gonna be start to get depleted. So, oh, here it is. I take a gallon of water and I put one of these propels in there. This is it, whoo. And we're talking about, anyways, there's zero carbs. There's, there's, there's zero sugar, okay? Zero sugar, absolutely phenomenal. One of these packets, whole gallon of water, I'd make sure that, and it's so much easier for me to drink a gallon of water. Yes. So, guys, check it out. Thank you so much for showing up. Do appreciate y'all. Y'all have a beautiful rest of the day. And yeah, I will look forward to seeing you all tomorrow.